Here we are, D-Day, right here. It's time for this party to begin. I'm gonna go talk to my buddies. I'm gonna give people some instructions on how we're gonna throw this party. You know, we can't just do this. We gotta throw a party, all right? Let's get this party started. Woo! The idea was just to try to put my stamp on it. The High Tide Beach Party. You see, this isn't a concert. This isn't a typical festival. This is a party with some really good music. To keep it from being a normal festival, okay, I'll get one other band on my caliber, like, you know, like REO. I love REO, they're dear friends. But I mean, Vince Neil was the first guy came to mind after Motley Crue. You know, he's out there playing, so I'd say, hey, Vince, why don't you come and jam? Yeah, okay, I'll come and jam. It's basically everything I live and love in life. I love tacos, Mexican food, so we brought the Cabo Wabo in to make those. I love margaritas, I love mojitos, we're gonna have all those. I love good beer with those things, you know, the hot sauce gets too hot, you got good beer. The food, the music, the hula girls, and some cool cars on the beach, come on. The beach, I'm a beach man. So we got a little surprise for you. you know, today's Kevin's birthday, and he turned 21, so he can drink now. And we're gonna have the little mariachi birthday for him. Hey, where it is? There he is. Wow. This is what I'm talking about, Sam. 21 years old. 21 years old today. Congratulations, <laughs> buddy. We'll have a drink later. We will. Yes. Oh, we will. On me. <laughs> Hey now, welcome back. And if you know me, you know every party I have needs great drinks and great food. And I made damn sure High Tide was no exception. It's a super unique experience. Um, Sammy and everyone planned out quite an event. There's a lot of elements to this that you don't normally see, and especially just toes in the sand. For most festivals, you're not really getting this experience with the ocean view and the sand. The bands obviously speak for themselves, but the car show, I wanna say there's close to $100 million in cars in there. Like, it's unique, for sure. We actually built a swimming pool in the cabana area and pump water in from the ocean for guests to kind of lounge in and hang out at. It's real unique. We actually operate um, a handful of restaurants here in Huntington Beach, and we do a lot of special events here on Huntington State Beach as well. Behind me right here is kind of one of our premier booths. Uh, it's called The Pit, and they do really large format barbecue. We'll do brisket, and pulled pork, and burgers, and dogs, but all super high end. He smokes all his meats overnight for 12 to 14 hours. Um, we also have a Cabo Wabo taco bar operating today that's doing um, all the Cabo Wabo recipes straight from the, the restaurant in Cabo. A lot of good choices here for everyone. I love the experience of going to concerts on the beach. We help throw a lot of them, and you definitely need to layer in good food, good drinks, um, craft cocktails. We definitely have an elevated bar program at this event, uh, more than most, so we're excited about that. Now I've been talking with Eddie Trunk for decades, and it turns out we've got a couple things in common now. Mr. Trunk, how are you, Eddie? Long overdue, man. How did it end up that you and I have shows, TV shows on the same network? That's what, a miracle. What you, I, what you don't know is I started learning how to play guitar, and I'm gonna start taking over your gig and start playing music. No, Mr. you're not, pal. Listen, <laughs> well, well, I'll take him out with left hook. <laughs> No, here's the, it's so funny because Are you we and I. Down? What are we doing? They, they, we're standing up. Stand. Why would, why would, why would we sit down? I'm old. I was hard. They, I have to lift me back. You're up not out of the old, seat. man. You are. You, this man is an inspiration. 
At 71? Are you <laughs> kidding me? How do you have that energy? I man? don't know, Eddie. You, you getting get testosterone uh, shots? What are you doing? No, but you know what? I'm starting <laughs> to think about it. <laughs> I can't sit still. If I don't have nothing, a new project, I don't know about you, Eddie, but uh, I, I, I get kind of bored and I'm just, so I have to invent something. So it's better when you have a dream and you just go after another dream because that's, that's your best thing to chase. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can tell you that. You didn't, had you ever think you were going to have your own TV show? Hell, Look I at bet this you did. Yeah. I got a face for radio, man. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Radio face. What up, radio face? For decades, always Stepping one of my on favorite my people in the world. The real deal here, ladies and gentlemen. The smartest man, the rain man of the heavy metal rain man. I bought him a shirt. We made, I made him he a did. shirt. He did. He designed a t-shirt for me. He was Make the best selling one Okay, well, let, me, let, me, let me ask you a quick question. So, on the first Guar album, who was the bass player? Oh, What's get his out name? of here. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, but I do know more about your career than you do. Ah, yes, you, you do. do right? <laughs> Have a great festival, Eddie man. Eddie Chunk in the house. Oh, Thank Sammy. you. Have a great Thank festival. You, Hey now folks, this is Sammy Hagar's High Tide Beach Party and Car Show. You know I love my cars and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. What can the fans expect here at the High Tide Beach Party? A great time. Surf, sand, sun, booze, music, cars, girls. Yeah, I mean we got vendors. I can smell so much food. I'm confused what to eat. What can you expect? My involvement with this was simply to, to connect, you know, to connect hands, connect faces, connect eyes, connect cars, uh, you know, tires to ground. We have a lot of friends. I, I have a lot of friends in this in this car world, and uh, a lot of them showed up, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I was asked to facilitate a little of this and to help collect some of the cars and some of the collections and individuals, and I was proud to do so. So this is a 1956 Chevy 210 wagon. Uh, they never made a Woody, and uh, most people know a Nomad, which is a two-door version, or three-door if you count the back. So Dad asked me, I had this, and I was gonna flip it. it. Took me like five years to work up to this as a flip, because that's my budget. And he asked me if I'd build it and make it into a Woody. And so I said, yeah, as long as you give me what I'm asking. Needless to say, that didn't happen, but here it is. <laughs> What is the relationship between cars and music? Well, most cars, you want to have a stereo. Most cars in youth were like a shaggin' wagon kind of vibe. So I'd say if you had the right soundtrack and you had the right purr of the motor and the right seats, you had a great day and a great life. Every musician's pretty much written a song about cars. It really is a symbiotic relationship. One can't live without the other, in my opinion. Vince Neil never ends. The man is in the house. We're doing some cruise songs and playing the first annual beach party. It's annual now, but anyway, got Vince in the house. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Now, Vince, I ask you a couple questions. <laughs> you don't mind now. I'm going to have uh, for girls, girls, girls. You're going to have a little back backing session. Love Eddie that. Money, uh, Kevin Cronin, and myself singing. Oh my God! So you know, you guys think you can handle it? Well, we got <laughs> we got steps down. We got steps down and everything. You know, so oh so no, you can do that. it. You can do it. That's like that's awesome. Yeah, no, we're awesome. gonna put it all together, and if you want to come out at the end of the show and sing rock and roll with me, you are not only welcome, it's a demand performance. I think I will be there. Like when the Queen demands it, only the Queen, this ain't the Queen, brother. 100% brother. This is not the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vince. Thank you. <laughs> Vince Mills in the house! So Kevin, so tonight I want to ask you a question yeah. so because this is a party and it's going to be a party and I want to make it like a party. Would you mind if I get any money to do the same thing? Would you mind coming up when Vince Neil is up there and you and I and Eddie will be like the what would you call us? We'll be the something oh, ets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The something oh, ets. Yeah. What, what song and is we'll it again? And we'll do girls, girls, girls. Is so we'll be the girl ets. Yeah. You want me to write the lyrics up where he goes like this? Would you girls, girls, girls? <laughs> I can do that. Happy to have you here. Thank Sammy, you. I'll see always. you on stage. I'm going to watch you on stage, and then you're going to come off. Then I'm going to go on, and then you're going to watch me on stage, and then you're going to come on with me, and then we're going to do this, and we're going to do it like that, and then we get on the plane. Girls. We go to Kabul and and more girls. Girls, more girls. girls. <laughs> Kevin Cronin, ladies Where's and gentlemen. Where Sammy goes, the party follows. A little old band called R.E.O. Would you guys drop the speed wagon and show? 
Yeah, it's REO Speedway. Forever. Forever. What is your AKA? I'm Bjorn B. Rorkson. And what is your motto again? Kill, eat, shit, repeat. Can't beat that, okay? So, uh, you guys, who are some of your main influences? Guar, King Diamond? Uh... Well, Wormlust. <laughs> um, Skull Shank. Oh, right, yeah. 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 Um, now we're talking. You know, you know Gordon Lightfoot. Wow. You know, shit like that. <laughs> Dead Mermaids, they get the award for the best band thing of the day. But step down, so you either have to transpose it to D, or you play my guitar, whatever you want. I'm gonna play your guitar. I got less ball. There you go. I don't have three. things like this. <laughs> That's like work. To play a fucking... Wait a minute, I'm gonna put it away. That's fucking work. I like guitars to play themselves. You just hit the note and raise your hand in the air. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to learn a song for Sammy. Sammy wants me to play. I gotta learn a song. Oh my God, I gotta go on in half an hour. How many times have you played a going to play a gig at a club somewhere or something. <laughs> More than training. I'm still a training. They're training me. They're training me. Come on. Put that, I can do it. Put that thing back in your pants. <laughs> Damn, come on now. Well, listen, when I got you, Eddie, and camera, I gotta ask you a question. Are you okay with coming up, uh, Vince Neil's playing three songs with me? Right. Are you, well, his third song's gonna be Girls, Girls, Girls. Are you okay with coming up with Kevin yeah. Conan and myself, and we sing, Girls, Girls, Girls. I can't okay. make it, I gotta get back home. I gotta get back home. Get out of here. I swear to God, I gotta get back home. I gotta, I gotta you better be swearing to God like this. If you're talking to me like this, you better have God involved. Are you serious? I can't make it up there. this time. You know what? This is a sad day. I, I love the him. motherfucker down. I love him. Go he to comes all, all the way down here, and he comes all the way down here to do nothing, to fucking jerk me around, <laughs> fucking jerk me around. Okay, guys, I talked to my friends. I did my meet and greets. I have done everything, but I haven't had a drink yet. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna chill out for a couple minutes, have a couple pops, start thinking about what I need to do up there on that stage. I'm gonna go get the job done. Peace and love. Enjoy the first annual High Tide Beach Party. Multitasking here, we got it all done. What do you predict tonight? A 12 round decision, unanimous decision, no order. I don't think it goes the distance. With that set list of those songs and that band and those special guests, it ain't going the distance. I think you're going the distance. I bet on the rock. My money's not going the distance.